Hello everyone, it's Engage UK back again with another review, just a little quick one this time. And today I'm going to review the um, Graham Farish 100 ton tanker bogey wagons, as they call them, uh, commonly called TEA wagons. But um, interesting these because on the um, workbench here you see three different slight variations on them, shell one and a couple of BP ones. but um, one of these is the odd one out. Although they come in exactly similar boxes, you wouldn't think there was much difference to them. One of them is from pre-Barton days, as you can see here with the old uh, style um, catalogue number, 3705. And two are post-Barton takeover. This uh, BP one here and the shell one. And it's interesting to see uh, just how little these have changed in the time since uh, Bartman took over Graham Farish. Now I believe in double O gauge they've recently um, done a new moulding, a new modelling of this uh, with a lot more detail and I think uh, once we get a look at these we'll start to realise that perhaps uh, that's due in N gauge too. So let's start by looking at the old Graham Farish tool version Take it out of its box, comes in a plastic sleeve, pretty plain livery but with BP logo on one side, shell logo on the other. It has uh, the old style rapidos on springs, metal wheels, uh, plain, completely plain under frame, even got the old Graphar Limited Britain printing under there. Rather coarse ladder, uh, walkway's okay, a little bit of etching on that. Uh, some fine printing here and here, um, but not that fine that you can actually read it very, very well if you go in close and try and read it. Perhaps it would be readable under a, a, you know, a magnifying glass, but uh, I'm not too sure about that. But overall, um, it looks like what it is. It looks like an, an N-gauge model from about 10 years ago. And that's what it is. Barkman took over Graham Farish about 10 years ago. Uh, and this looks from about just before that takeover. So that's the old pool version. Now if you look at the current version, this is uh, 373552. So it has the back, back room catalogue number, same plastic insert, slightly different, but same basic design. Put that out, rather difficult to take out. Um, let's start at the bottom. I mean, it's exactly the same underframe. Still got rapidos on springs, still got the metal wheels, still very plain. Same walkway. And the only difference that Barkman have made to these in the last 10, 11 years is in the level of the printing. Much better fine printing. I mean, really much better. That's readable. Uh, there is more fine printing on the actual underframe, the sole bar, printed on there. Various bits of information about the wheelbase and the gap and the... Uh, load etc. The small printing on the end here is also readable. There are uh, overhead warning flashes, the uh, early ones, not the most recent ones which are black and yellow. I don't know the exact date when those changed, I think it was in the 90s. Um, ladder, exactly the same. Walkway, exactly the same. So they've not really done much to these at all in the time that they've uh, been in charge of the Graham Parish brand. We'll have a look at the last one, which is uh, again uh, a newer version. It's 373555. Again, same underframe, very plain, nice metal wheels. 
Rapido's on springs, not changed, but much better printing. And with the red sole bar and the printing on it, it looks quite nice. The printing on the side is really nice, but where these are left is it in these ends. Uh, it's not so noticeable on the black BP version, but on this grey shell version, um, the join there between the sides and the ends is pretty pretty obvious there's a bit of a gap there um, not really a lot a modeler could do about that except perhaps try and fill it and paint but that would be very difficult considering how close to the end these printed details are this has got a petroleum sector logo on as well as the hazardous chemical labels, the TEA label, uh, warnings about naked flames, obviously, and things like that. Um, so printing-wise, a big step forward, but uh, other than that, still the same old moulding, still the same old Rapido pockets on the springs. Because they're on the springs, they could be changed. Um, this could be shortened and pulled back a bit, or you could put something like uh, Schaffenberg's or something like that on it. Some people take these off, cut the shank off and glue them direct on. Uh, or you could put, make up your own you know, proprietary um, couplers to put them into fixed rakes. But yes, definitely due for a new version, I think. Um, and considering how nice the new uh, 00 ones are, uh, I think they do well if they did do a, a new moulding. Cost of these supposed to be about £14. You can pick them up for about 11 But for £11, you're getting something that, apart from the printing, hasn't changed in 10 or 12 years. So I think it's time that uh, they looked at these. So I'm going to give them 7 out of 10. They're not the same level as current Dapol or Farish releases and Farish I think have been given a little bit of a you know a wake up call by Dapol and some of the new things that are in the pipeline the detail on them looks really excellent so I think that these are going to start to look a bit old and a bit clunky um, you can get detailing packs for them to improve them particularly the ladders and uh, filler caps and things like that from uh, I think Taylor Precision models do them. Um, so you can be improved. Uh, obviously a bit of weathering and this would help hide these joins, stuff like that. So certainly a bit of weathering. They do do weathered versions. Um, I do have one, but um, it's not the subject of this review. Um, but they tend to be an overall weathering. Uh, they've done a black weathering, weathered one with some stain lines under the filler caps, but uh, I don't think they look quite as good as uh, something weathered at home that's been done very well. So 7 out of 10 for me for these. Well, thanks for watching this review. Hope to be back soon with more reviews. Please comment, rate or subscribe. Uh, let me uh, have any questions or requests or complaints. <laughs> All are welcome in equal measure. <laughs> Hope to be back with more videos soon. Until then, take care and see you soon.